Hi there, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're playing this wonderful game I found on Itch.io for free called Yandere Heaven. For those who don't know me yet, I love Yandere's. I ain't gonna lie. So let's get into it. So before we take a look how cute the screen is, I love this aesthetic. The little cursor is a heart. That's so cute. So let's go ahead and start. Look at the loading screen. Okay, volume select. So we've got to start out with volume one. Character select. So I don't know if these are the characters I'm romancing or the characters are going to be. I'm going to choose the voice. Yeah, choose the voice. Sushi X get it. See? Like me some boy enders, I ain't gonna lie. Pronouns. I like that option. We're just gonna go with she, her. Swearing. Okay. Threatening behavior. Okay. Kidnapping and imprisonment. It's typical. General Gandary shenanigans. Stay safe and have fun. Okay, let's do it. We are going to do just that, because these graphics are super cute so far. I don't know if the characters are voiced or not, so we'll just have to see for ourselves. We gotta wait for the loading. Oh, I think what it does is it fills it up as it's loading. So we're waiting for the whole thing to the whole hourglass to fill, I guess. Oh, there it goes. Oh! <laughs> they are boys! Oh, I'm so cute! <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, my face is already twisting up in so many different ways. This is so adorable. No. <laughs> oh oh my <laughs> okay Oh, I just realized the desktop audio wasn't fully on. I'm dumb. I'm so sorry. That's why, after everything she's done for me, I've made it my mission to make her happy. Oh. I won't let anyone take her smile away. Oh, but this isn't the time to be reminiscing. Not when she needs my help. Hey, you have to wake up now, okay? It's morning already. You're gonna be so late if you don't hurry. Uh, it's like this every single day, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, at least I get to keep her all to myself. <laughs> I wish things would stay exactly as they are forever. That's actually kind of wholesome Hello? in some way. Darn it, come on! Please wake up, or I'll have to leave without you! 
Oh, look at the little fleshies. It's a little fleshies. Please tell me it's not him again. <gasps> hey! Oh, good morning. That didn't sound very enthusiastic. So, where's our favorite sleepyhead? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about his voice. I'm not gonna lie. He's got a kawaii voice and then a sushi. I don't, I don't know, it just doesn't suit him. She's. Wait, why the heck should I even tell you? <laughs> Alright, calm down, I was only asking. Who do you think you are anyway? You do realize waiting in front of someone's house before school every morning is super weird, right? Some might even mistake you for a stalker if you're not careful. Oh, that smile. He's like, I hope you get mistaken as a stalker, bro. Why would I care if you find it weird? I don't give a crap what you think. I'm here for her. Now, get lost, will ya? Shoot. W wait! Watch out! Morning. <laughs> Someone still looks sleepy. Uh, look, we're gonna be crazy late. We have to go now. <sighs> Conqueror, you little. Hurry up, sleepy. Let's go. Now wait just a minute. What is it now? We're going to be late. Listen, if you're in a hurry, I could always give you a ride. What do you say? Huh? Who the heck wants to ride on your stupid bicycle? <sighs> I wasn't asking you, idiot. The offer was for her. Here, let me take your bag for you. Hey, just ignore him. And let's go already. <sighs> Kakaroo, what's your deal? Grabbing her like that? That's no way to treat someone you care about. You go ahead if you're so worried. I'm gonna take her there like a proper gentleman. Oh goodness gracious. Same goes for you. Why don't you just go on your silly little bicycle and leave us alone for once? She's coming with me. Don't be stupid. If she walks with you, she'll be late. It makes sense for me to take. No, I'm not handing her over to you. She's my sibling, so she's my responsibility. How many times do I have to tell you before you get it through that thick skull? Walking with you at your snail's pace will only make her late. I just want what's best for her. Then we won't walk, will we? We'll run! Excuses, excuses. How pathetic. You do realize you reek of desperation right now. I think he has a wisp. The way he said desperation came out a little weird. Uh, shut up already. You're so annoying. I don't know how to feel about being bought over right now. <laughs> what a wonderful start to my morning. <laughs> Later that morning. <laughs> Ah, uh, final. Oh, it's her. If I'm remembering correctly, I think she's got another study group next, which means... Wait, who's that with her? It must be someone from the same class. Is somebody getting jelly? Shit. If only I didn't have P.E., I could have done something. Maybe I should just skip it? No! Go to your PE, boy. Don't skip classes. That pest cockaroo getting in the way in the mornings. I'm almost late every damn day. Wait, so you do this every morning? Oh my goodness. Everything's always cockaroo's fault. I need to find some way to get rid of him. Uh, that sounds questionable. Huh? Who the fuck is that? A 
classmate, I guess. Look at the two of them smiling away. Can't stand that. That place beside her, that beautiful smile, her happiness, it should all be mine. All mine! Oh my! Um. And that, uh, uh, got a little bit of a shiver there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh goodness. Hey, you're off to a study group next, right? Excuse me, I just need to borrow this person for a minute. So, got any plans for break time? The weather seems pretty good today, so there's a chance to maybe find a nice spot in the garden. Nah, scratch that, it's always too crowded there. How about the rooftop instead? It's much quieter. The perfect place to just chill out without worrying about being bothered by anybody. Actually thinking of heading up there myself. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> Great minds and all. Do you have any plans in particular, Atsu? Huh? Me? I was gonna head to the rooftop and take a nap. Right. But shouldn't you be going to a study group too? You already skipped a whole bunch of classes this month. What? No, I'm not skipping classes. Even if I was, my grades are just fine. Thank you. If you say so. Alright, well, you better get going. I'll head up there and save us a spot for later. When you're all wrapped up, just come and find me right away, okay? Time it is then. I like the transition. A little later. So, you all done with trigonometry? Yep, thankfully. Good. Good. <laughs> Sorry for always asking you to make my lunch. You know, it's just because your cooking is so tasty, right? Do I de detect a hit of sarcasm there? Huh? <laughs> nope, I wouldn't change a thing. Even if you kept making it for me exactly like this every single day for the rest of our lives, I'd still scarf it all down with a smile. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure I want to be your personal chef for that long. You wouldn't want to cook for me forever? Oh, why not? You know, I have more than enough money to support us both. You'd never have to work another day in your life. Uh, excuse me? That, that sounds mighty suspicious, bro. Can you stop flirting with her when I'm not around? Oh, cut that up. <sighs> of course you'd show up now. What are you two even talking about anyways? Sounds like you were making a fool of yourself. Embarrassing. <laughs> Can't get his smile though. What a nuisance. Do you always have to be such a pain in my ass? You know, I had a bad feeling something like this would happen. And here we are. Seriously, I can't ever let my guard down. Why are you even here? We're having a family lunch today, and since you're not related to either of us, I think it's about time you got going. Huh? I was here first! You should be the one walking away! <laughs> Who got here first is irrelevant! And besides, I'm already sick of staring at your face, so please leave! You can still grab today's special at the canteen if you hurry. Ooh. Are you kidding me? I'm not moving an inch, buddy. So how about you just run along already and leave the grown-ups to eat their lunch in peace, you annoying little rat? Oof. Talking about yourself again, I see. <laughs> nope. Definitely you. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure you're the annoying brat here, even if you are older than me. You're such a damn child. 
Guys, can you please stop fighting already? Let's just eat lunch in peace. It's a beautiful day, so why don't we enjoy it together? Because that's definitely a great idea. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to stress you out or anything. Oh, baby. <sighs> Me too. I just wanted us to have a nice, relaxing lunch together. I'm sorry. Blushies. Good. Then it's a truce. Kakaru, will you quit hogging all the egg rolls? <laughs> Why should I? She made them for me. Yeah, and she made some for me too. So don't you dare eat mine. It's already bad enough we have to share. <laughs> that should be my line. Just when I thought we were finally going to get some quality sibling time together, you show up to ruin everything. You're welcome. You know what? I don't think I can stand this for another second. Can you please just go away? You have no right to be here. I do. What is actually wrong with you? Did no one ever teach you to respect your elders? Just because you're older than me doesn't mean you're due any sort of respect, especially with the way you act. Respect is earned. Maybe come back when you've learned how to conduct yourself with a bit more maturity. Oh, you've got some balls to speak to me like that, huh? Cocky little shit. Oof. Ooh, you're so big and scary. You do realize threatening me is useless, right? I'm not one of those cowardly guys you usually pick on. I'm not afraid of you. Mmm, your cooking really is delicious. You're such a suck-up. Do you even have any friends? What kind of question is that? It's none of your business. No reason. I just haven't seen you hanging out with anyone besides us. Whatever. As long as I have her, I don't need anyone else. Aww. Sure. Not weird. That's not creepy at all. Kidding aside, of course I have friends. So you don't need to worry about me. Of course you do. I believe that when I say it. And on that note... Oh boy, here we go again. Hey! I was saving that one for last! <laughs> well, it's your own fault for leaving it for so long. <laughs> first come, first serve. First come, first serve, huh? Huh? What was that? Oh, nothing. That may be true, but I'll never give her up. Not for you, or anyone else. I'll never let her go. Okay? Jeez, you're such a little freak. You've been talking nothing but creepy crap ever since you got here. Keep it up and I'm gonna shut you up. Oh. Oh, really? And how exactly do you plan on doing that? You gonna kill me? Ah. Uh... Who knows what'll happen if you keep pushing me? I'm just saying, you better watch your back next time you're walking home at night. I know where you live, remember? Ah! Uh... <laughs> Phew, saved by the bell. Literally. Oh, damn, that time already? <laughs> and we have different classes next, right? So, that sucks. I guess I'll see you after school then. Later! Ah, uh, okay. That guy is such an asshole. Hmm? What was that? Huh? I didn't say anything. We should get going, or we'll wind up being late to class. Later that day. Finished! If I'm fast enough, I should be able to make it there before him! Hey! Are you ready to walk home together? Um, actually, I have to head to work now, so I can't walk home to you today. Sorry. Wait, what? I thought that was only part-time. It's not today, right? Because I swear, you promised we'd walk home together today. Yeah, you're right. 
When I was called in on such short notice, I kind of forgot to tell you. Is that so? Jeez, it must have been pretty last minute if you forgot to mention it. It's okay. I know you never hide anything from me anyway. So, why don't I walk you to work instead? That'd be fine, right? <clears throat> no, it's not actually. Uh, Hatsushi! She already promised to walk with me. So just be a good little boy and go home. I'll go grab my bike if you want to wait for me in front of the school gates. Again? How many more times is he gonna show up and ruin everything? Hey, how about we just leave Atsushi behind and go now? You don't want to be late for work, right? Especially not when they're relying on you. I guess. But still, I have to keep my promise to Atsushi. Huh? No, you don't. He's not important. The only person you have to keep your promises to is me. Do you honestly care about him that much? Uh... Well, if he isn't here, then there won't be a problem, right? You can't keep a promise to someone who's not around. Uh... That seems kind of menacing. Ah, shit. Sorry, I'll just go for now. I'll see you at home. That was kind of menacing. Um... <laughs> uh... I, does it. I have no other choice but to get rid of the bastard. Permanently. Oh my, um... Oh, okay? Um... <sighs> that pesky cockroach keeps getting in the way. He better not think he'll get away with doing whatever the hell he wants just because they're fake family. Someone like him needs to be taught a lesson. Always leering at her like that. Creep. <laughs> I can imagine it now. Seeing that little brat howling in pain, begging for forgiveness. Oh no. Oh yeah. There's that guy he's been mouthing off about wanting to mess up a first year for a laugh. I should really talk to him next time we have class together. <laughs> oh. Yo, you're late. What the heck took you so long? Sorry, what's got you so smiley anyway? Huh? I look happy. <laughs> well, I just thought of something interesting, and seeing your smile always puts me in a good mood. Hmm, sus. Okay, hop on. You're gonna get an earful from your mom if you're late, so let's go. 